Hi, I'm Matt and welcome to Tech Tested. I predict Alder Lake is gonna flop and here's why. All right, flop might be a bit of an overstatement, but I do expect it to underperform what you might be expecting and what Intel has been predicting. Now there's been a lot of hype around Alder Lake and I've watched Linus's video as well as Jay's two cents on the subject and they still haven't been able to release performance numbers, but there are little tidbits inside those videos that make me think there's not gonna be the performance we're looking for. But those videos aside, my real reason actually goes back to history. If you look back at the history of CPUs, there are several series that are very notorious for being performance flops. And they both failed for the same reason. They deviated from the tried and true method of trying for the highest IPC achievable. The first example is the Pentium 4. Back in the day, Intel decided that instead of going for high IPC, they were going to extend out the pipeline of the CPU in order to get the performance through raw clock speed. Unfortunately, they were not able to get the clock speeds they were hoping for, and the Pentium 4 underperformed relative to its predecessor, the Pentium 3. It wouldn't be until Intel went back to the tried and true method of hunting IPC over clock speed that they would return to dominance with the Core 2 Duo series. The same thing happened with AMD and the launch of Bulldozer. During the Phenom 2 era, AMD, while not at the top of the performance charts, was actually competitive with Intel. When they released Bulldozer, they again made the same mistake as Intel and went for raw clock speed over IPC. They also made another key mistake. They deviated from the traditional structure of a CPU, giving all resources necessary for one core and multiplying that to get your ultimate core count. They instead decided to divide resources between two cores and calling two cores a single module. This, in my mind, is the biggest indicator of what we're gonna see with Alder Lake. One of the biggest problems with the bulldozer architecture at launch was the Windows scheduler. Instead of Windows scheduling one task per module and then backfilling after those filled up, it ended up using up all the resources of a single module before moving on to the next. This was later patched, but by then it had already become a big problem for AMD. It wasn't until the release of Ryzen many years later that AMD would return to a competitive spot, and now they are on top. This is where my prediction for Alder Lake comes in. Instead of Intel using traditional cores, they have split up their CPU between performance cores and efficiency cores. This will require Windows to schedule tasks based upon the needs of the program running on the particular core. Now, what seems very clear to me is Microsoft was working with Intel on Windows 11 so that it would work very well with Alder Lake, even at the expense of AMD's Ryzen architecture. There have been patches to address the issue on Ryzen, but it seems very clear to me that Intel and Microsoft are in bed together. This also means if you are hoping to stick to Windows 10 and use Alder Lake, you're kind of screwed. There are also programming issues. Companies are going to have to make sure their programs are coded in order to take advantage of this new architecture. And we're already seeing problems where older programs aren't playing well with Alder Lake and are gonna require updates to work properly. Given the fact that history tells us that deviating from the tried and true method of building a CPU for IPC first, and the fact that this new architecture requires a whole new operating system to run properly, this is why I'm predicting a bit of a flop for Alder Lake. Now, I know this seems like a bash fest, and it kind of is, but I genuinely hope I am wrong. You need to understand my position here. I'm essentially calling out a major company that I, as a YouTube tech reviewer, hope to someday receive review samples from, and that could be shooting myself in the foot. I'm also not trying to say everything about Alder Lake is bad. One cool thing is that it supposedly has a dedicated BCLK clock generator for base clock overclocking, which has not been a thing since like, 2014. So I would really enjoy that. In fact, I would probably pick up this platform just for that feature if it actually worked well. That's a thing for hardcore overclockers though, so I'm not saying you should do it for that reason. I'm just saying that's a reason I would. Another thing that's pretty cool is the first platform in which DDR5 has been implemented. Now there are usually teething issues with being the first adopter of a new memory platform, but hey, someone has to do it, and if you're gonna be the one with the balls to pull the trigger first, I salute you. Having said all of this, my prediction stays the same. I predict Alder Lake is gonna flop, and I genuinely, genuinely hope I am wrong. I want Intel to come out swinging and show AMD that they can't be pushed around anymore. If you like this video, give it a like. If you have other thoughts, leave a comment down below. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow us on our social media platforms and check out our Discord and our website so you can pick yourself up some tech-tested merch.